If we're building an API or a web app, we need to find a way to get some information in from the user. And one of the ways we can do this is by actually putting the information in the URL when they submit a response, their request. So I'll show you how it works. So let's say we're creating an API here, and what it'll do is it'll take in a name and it'll return that person's information. So this is just the name and the age. So what I can do is I can set up a get root here, and then I can say something like slash profile slash, and then um, I'll put name here, and then I'll put a colon before it. So this colon means it'll be treated as a parameter, and we'll see what that means in a second. So I'll put my middleware function here with a request and response. And what I can do is if I do console.log um, request.params, oops, and save that, and then I start up the server. And I go to uh, localhost 3000 slash um, profile slash Alice. We can see that um, the params object has extracted our Alice, our Alice or our name here, and it'll set it's set it to a property of name. So we can get the data this way by extracting it from the URL. So if I just um, finish that off now, uh, what I can do now is use this name to actually return the correct object. So I can say let name equals and I'll just put um, request.params.name like this. Uh, I'm just going to refresh this now because it's being really slow. And what I can do here is um, I can say something like if people name. So if, if, if there's an entry in people with that name as the key, then what we can do is we can return a JSON with that object and we can again access that using people name. So if I copy that and paste it in here. Otherwise, we can do something like response.json and then we can do something like not found. So what this will do again is it'll extract the name from our URL and then if there's an object for that name as the key, it'll return that object. Otherwise, it'll return not found. So let's try it now. So let's start up the server. And if we go to localhost 3000 slash profile slash Alice, we can see that Alice's details have been returned here. And if I change this URL to Bob, we can see Bob's details. And then if I change this again to Charlie, we can see Charlie's details. And then if I put another name in like Diana or something where there isn't an object, it'll return not found. And in a realistic scenario, what we can do with this JSON information is we can use it to just render a HTML profile page or something, and then maybe have like image URL or something like that, and then create a page from it. It's kind of like the cat photo API that we looked at in the JSON APIs course. So here, what they want us to do is create one of these um, for when they do get and then slash and then a word, whatever word they want, and then slash echo. And we wanted to return a JSON with just echo and then the word. So here we want to create a get root, and then here we'll put word, uh, slash word like this, and then here we can put um, slash echo. Then we want to put our middleware function in, so it'll be the request response like this. And we can do response.json. And remember that um, the this word here will be extracted and stored in request.params.word because the request.params is an object and it has a field called with whatever this word is that contains the value of the word. So here we can do um, echo like this and then request dot params dot word like this. So let's try that now. So if we open the app and then we put slash uh, let's say free code cam. 
slash echo, we can see that the word has been echoed back to us. And I can change this word for whatever I want. So I can put um, tomato or something. And it'll echo that word back. So yeah, that's everything you really need to do here. So you can just copy the um, live app URL, paste it in here, and then click I've completed. And yeah, that's all you have to do.